The Don Catalino Rodriguez Heritage House is also known as the Villa Soriaya. It was named after the owner who is Don Catalino Rodriguez, the former town mayor. He lived there with his family, his wife Luisa and their eight children. This heritage house is not just popular for its beautiful structure but is well known for its importance to the history of the town. Don Catalino loves to travel abroad, especially in Europe. And that is his inspiration for building this house. It is located along the Quezon Avenue Street corner Dali Street of the Barangay Poblacion Cinco of Saryaya. It stands just by the side of one of the famous bakeries of the town, Cadiz, and at the back of the video bank, Soryaya Branch. It is just a few meters away from the town's parish church, Parroquia ni San Francisco de Assisi. The architect of the said heritage house is a Spanish architect named Juan Herbas. This very well-known heritage house of Saryaya was built in the year 1922. It was created by craftsmen from Patangas and Pampanga. It was designed in the traditional Bahay na Bato with glass pan windows. The house was made of high-quality hardwood pieces. As seen from the grills is the year it was built, and from the main door, you can see the grills formed as the owner's name, Catalino Rodriguez. From that main door is a small space of area where lies short stairs that leads to a platform. To the left of that platform is just a few steps down that leads to the official first floor of the house. The ceiling of the house in the first floor is not just an ordinary ceiling. It is painted with vines, with fruits, and with flowers. This first floor consists of bedrooms that is said to be used by the family's guests. These rooms have its own wall paintings whose artist is still unknown. There are artworks such as paintings and sculptures by a self-taught artist from the town, Maria Oreza Escaño. Going back to the platform is another staircase that leads to the second floor. These stairs consist of rings that is embedded to the corner where the tread and the riser of the stairs meet. It was placed there to hold carpets that are used whenever there are celebrations, gatherings, and other important occasions. Under these stairs, is the door attached to the wall. It is said that Don Catalino is a strict father and grandfather. Whenever his children or grandchildren disobeys him, he would lock them up in this hidden space.
stairs, you will see the spacious area of the second floor, which is the house living room. The area gives the house a serene and very cozy ambience. There are tall posts from the sides of the area and broad windows. The gorgeous furniture and fixtures of the house were imported from Europe and the United States of America. Parts of the house of the second floor are carved and has paint. The main windows on the second floor have a ventanilla, which is a small window that is floor level. These ventanillas are also painted with flowers. In this living room, you can see some photos of the family and some old things like typewriters and books that is displayed. There are also bedrooms in this floor where the family stays. As for this house, you will notice that for some bedrooms, there are sinks. Having sinks inside the bedroom was influenced by the Europeans. It is Don Catalino's inspiration to also put sinks in bedrooms. These rooms consist of cabinets that has different old things inside them. As you pass the bedrooms, there are two dining tables. The first one is near the bathroom, and the second one is the main dining table. In this dining area, the walls are also painted with different pictures. The bathroom in the second floor consists of two doors for comfort room and one door for a bathroom. As you pass the dining area, there is an opening that leads to a room where maids, servants, and cooks prepare food to serve the guests. In this room, you will see an old freezer and an old colon. There is also a staircase in this room that leads downstairs to the first floor, which is only used by maids and servants. Also, there is a sliding wooden door that leads to the terrace of the house. In the terrace, you will see the Gala Rodriguez Heritage House, which is also a famous heritage house of the town. Going down the staircase, used by servants, is a comfort room. This comfort room is used by guests and visitors of the house, especially when it was still a restaurant. There are also displayed old bottles in this part of the first floor.
This heritage house became the venue for important occasions such as honoring the President Manuel L. Quezon and a native of Chaong Quezon, Don Claro M. Recto. It has been a part of the town's history and was declared to be a heritage house by the National Historical Institute in the 14th day of May, year 2008. Now, the Heritage House serves as an open house for tourists where ladies can wear ternos and Maria Clara costumes and barong Tagalog for the gentlemen. They also served food before where you can dine inside the house where the one to serve you is their very own culinary, culinaria Tagala. But unfortunately, they stopped serving. It is said to open Ben Salohalo this following months. As part of their preservation, Ate Tess Abehwilia, the caretaker of the house, said that she cleans the house whenever someone booked to visit the house. But if there are no bookings for almost a month, she would clean it and do laundry of the costumes and the curtains. Also, they spray pesticide yearly to avoid wood decay. The owners in the present times, Mr. Ricardo and Mrs. Rebecca Veloso, still welcomes tourists to see the beauty and know the wonderful history of the Don Catalino Heritage House.